Florida's carried headlong. You can even think of that one being me and uh, the, the, uh, the 13 families. Of course, it goes in the Esau, but you know, it talks about the, the, the councils coming together doing wickedness. The elite. The elites. All right. Uh, I think that's the summit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's that council. Yeah. You know, those, those different councils that they be having, man, trying to try figure out how they're going to. Uh, Scheme That's yeah. right. Council of Foreign Relations, Bilderberg, Trilateral Commission. Oh, you, uh, and you, uh, you so-called black elitist, you Jake, who sold out. Y'all have council, but it's not of the most high. So that's talking about your sellouts as well, too, man. Who's, who's a-okay with the so-called white man killing your people, man. That's, that's, that's very detrimental, man. That's, you, you, you giving Esau the, 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 a-okay, -okay, man, to eradicate your people, man. Because you got this thing called the oppressive, uh, the Salakia, the, uh, the uh, progressive, progressive Negro, the progressive African-American. And, and and they show you when you do progress here, it's a glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. so, so Esau puts you in a trick bag, man. This is a guy who broke over 400 treaties with the Native Americans. I can't trust a guy like that. I, I don't want to sit down at a table with a guy like that. Like, bro. I expect you to keep that, that, that your yay be gang and they be nay. Then I give you 399 times, and see, that's just for Jake being simple, but at the same time, on the flip side, our people are compassionate. So-called white man not compassionate, bro. That's right. He not compassionate. You got Jake who ain't committing no crimes, man. In in prison, they mom died. They kids grow up without him. They, they whole manhood gone. Wanna offer him a little funky ass, uh, million dollars, man. Or if the signature is messed up on the application for that man who got out, he don't even get the money. God, brother. Y'all, man, he saw you. You a piece of cold work, man. That's right. You got a lot of these Jakes in these jailhouses that were wrongfully accused. And they were in jail and they served 50 year sentences. And they come out and just get, what, a $10,000, $20,000 check? And hug the white man. Oh, I'm so, yeah. I'm so happy to be out. But they'll look at, they'll look at you and be like, well, we just did you a favor. We just gave you some money. You know? It just shows how sinister and diabolical this demon is. He has no remorse. He lacks remorse, period. He just keeps going. But that's ultimately stuff that the devil does. The devil is the deceiver. He's your adversary. So he's going to do everything to catch you up so you won't be able to progress in society. And ultimately, this is a society, this is a society that's not meant for us to progress anyway. That's right. That's why we in the jails. That's why we in the hoods, in the barrios, in low conditions. You know? That's man. Go ahead and bring that out a second. Second Corinthians, second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So that's the thing to it. You know, we we're not ignorant to his to his devices. So that shows he's not gonna get an advantage of us, nor will we stay in this thing. But a lot of these people that we see that's in the jails, they're ignorant to it because they still wanna shake his hand and hold hands with him. They ain't ignorant to his devices. Even though he he's whipping their backs, they gonna be right back saying, Master doing this for a reason. I needed this. He told me that I was being a bad slave. You know? They ain't ignorant to his devices at all, period. They just gonna go with the flow. Like um, you had the picture of uh, brothers posted on the uh, brothers had posted it of um Cam Newton, and then you had what's his name, Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick, looking at and then they was looking at him, and Cam looking at him like, look at you, yep. and Colin looking looking at him like, man, you look cool, yeah. you the one up here dressing like um Paul Bunyan yeah. with that hat and them little pants on, man, you know, but he's the one that's getting whipped repeatedly. He's the one that's waiting to Satan's devices, yeah. you know. Furthermore, when I came to Troas to, to preach Mashiach's gospel, and a door was opened to me of the Lord, I had no rest in my spirit because I found not Titus my brother. Okay, but, that's, that's it on that one. Yeah, water, yeah, that was yeah. That yeah. Cam Newton and Colin Kaepernick, that's the new Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> it's fun to look at Colin Kaepernick and say, you know, he's standing up for something, but he really ain't standing up for shit. And you look at Martin Luther King and some people say the same thing, he ain't standing up for shit. This world is gone. They're the same niggas talking about, they're probably gonna, Colin Kaepernick probably say he's gonna vote for Hillary Clinton or some stupid shit like that. Now all of this stuff is gone. If you got any type of state or ownership in this kingdom, in this What you plan to do as far as uh, picketing or sitting down or whatever, none of that's 
stuff matters. If you're not so out here, you're out of the None of that stuff matters. Absolutely, it's brother. All yeah. it's, it's, it's all gone. It's all washed up. The same people that you're saying to yourself, man, they, they, that's an upstanding dude right there. Are them same niggas that's going to be standing in the line trying to vote. Mm -hmm. Trying to vote for Hillary. That's right, brother. Trying to vote for this other person. Nah. It's all about the truth. Nah. Yeah, and Hillary's the same one that was calling us super predators. But these people, just because Donald Trump's saying what he's saying, they'll vote for this chick. All right? But again, ultimately, we know the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. So they're going to devise all the mischief that they can and try to keep our people caught up. They've been doing it for 400 plus years. And it ain't going to stop till our Lord come back. Especially when we live in a satanic kingdom. All right, go ahead and bring that out in 2 Corinthians. We'll bring that one out in Michael right after the word. To 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. And such trust have we through Mashiach to Godward, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of Yahweh. That's right. That's right. It's all good, brother. So like yeah. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, in whom the in whom the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. A lot of these people are blind. That's why they out here marching. That's why they about to vote for Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. It really doesn't matter. They're blind. Okay? They're going to be deceived to Satan's devices. Like you read in um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11, he's the one that puts them in that mind state. Okay? He's the one that gives them that strong delusion to believe what they believe, but ultimately they believe in a lie. And they don't want to come to the truth. That's why when we're out here teaching this word, they walk right past us, look at us like we crazy, or get ready to fight us. <laughs> They're yeah. casting this delusion. Well, that, that's something that's uh, from the, before you came out your mother's womb, mm -hmm. the status quo and how what life is has been taught to you, man. That's right. And you go through programming from a young age, man, from the time that you're a little bitty baby. They show you on TV what's right and what's wrong. You watch cartoons. You learn the indoctrination that your master gave your grandma, your great great grandma, and that legacy is passed down until now. That's right. Bro. And only, uh, only an elect few, <laughs> only a elect few is going to be that the key is going to be unlocked in their That's mind, right. in, their, in their third eye, That's in, right. their subcon in their conscious, in the spirit. Mm -hmm of what the truth is and, and it's going to get you out of the programming of this world your day to day just right. hands steering the wheel yeah you know me and the brother we went to a restaurant it was packed up in their mud in that mud because everybody getting off at happy hour doing the same thing same, same, i need same. a drink <laughs> so i can go Stop back home and hate this situation and go to work and do the same yeah. thing over and over and over and over and over again, man. Yeah. And then while, meanwhile, the truth is, is being overlaid. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, we were uh, doing the live show today, we was talking about how conveniently in the news you had the NYC bombing. At right. the same time, you had the U.S. have airstrikes God, on yeah. Syrian troops. Mm -hmm. And how that's just being washed under this table, but they just putting the terrorists. Mm -hmm. How many people died in the New York terrorist attack? Only a few, I None. No. None died. So it's just a Staged event clearly to. Meanwhile, boom, we got to move on these targets. Mm -hmm. That the whole the energy of the fall we talked about is coming in. We was in a calm before the storm during the summertime, mm -hmm. and now it started to pick back it's up. Nah, brother. It's gonna yeah. be an economic a, win, a winter uh, economic a nuclear economic winter. Yeah, which which it probably won't be. It may not. Be. But it's going to be leading up in, in, into the, the culmination of a lot of things, man. Because the prophecies are still having to go by. Gone. Gone. Even, so. even today or yesterday, I believe today's the 19th or was that yesterday? Today. Is today's the 19th? Today's the 20th? Today's the 20th. Yeah, um, I don't know if they actually went through with it, but they were supposed to be rebuilding the, uh, the Temple of Baal just yesterday. Yeah. The reason why I'm bringing that up, because you're talking about a lot of stuff going on, Satan, these demons are fluttering all over the place yeah. right now. Well, that's what you, you know? have in October. Mm -hmm. What happens in October? You have Sam Hain, so a swing. Yep, that's all right. right. The time of Halloween where they say the veils of the dark world are, are at the yeah. thinnest. Mm -hmm. This is when they prepare to do a lot of those sacrifices right. and, and make a lot of moves. That's right. You know what I mean? On the left-hand mm -hmm. side. So yeah. all those things are being, being brought up before these times, man. That's why we should be ignorant of Satan's devices. That's right. You know what I mean? We have to have the faith in Yahweh Shah that we're going to be protected in that time. Because it's about to get bad. Niggas is complaining about paying rent. 
They ain't complaining about getting their fucking head chopped off, boy. You know, there's a whole different stress level from, hey man, I gotta hustle up this $200 to, ah, ah, bah, 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 ah, screaming in the streets. Yeah, that's right, bro. And you, you got people falling out the bank of a rent. <laughs> what you gonna do when all hell break loose? That's mm. real, brother. <laughs> you know? That's real, huh? Mm. Start over. For second Corinthians chapter four, verse four, and whom the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. That's right. Like y'all like to go on Mashiach. You like to go into example of Neo in the Matrix, when he lived his whole life in the Matrix, being blind, blind people all around him. But as soon as he got unplugged, Morpheus started talking to him. When it started on that phone, he became awake. And when Morpheus spoke to him, he was like, we really don't awake people out. That's after a certain age. But something just told me to wake you up. Roughly paraphrasing, of course, but it's going to Satan's devices, blinding the minds of them that were stuck in the matrix. They, don't want, they didn't want to believe the truth. That's why it was only a certain select few that had that key, like the brother mentioned beautifully. They the ones that had the key and it locked the minds of Neo so he could wake up and understand the truth of what was really going on. To know that Satan was ruling this. To know that something was, something was going to happen. Okay? why he called him Neo, was the word Neo, right? Neo means new. Became a new man once he came, once he uh, found the truth. Neo. That's why they went, uh, when, when, when uh, Agent Smith was holding him down, and he was like, you hear that, Mr. Anderson? Talking to the fleshly body, you know? That's the sound of you. That's the sound, you know, you know of inevitability. My name. It's Neil, meaning, you know, I'm breaking loose That's from right. Mr. Anderson. That's right. On this idea of death. And I'm realizing my potential in the, in the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah Washa. When you look at it in biblical terms, you know? So, uh, verse 5. But we preach not ourselves, but Mashiach Yahweh Shai, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Mashiach uh, Yahweh Shai's sake. Why? Because he just told you that's the image of Yahweh. All right, if you, want, if you want a view of the infinite, you can't, can you picture infinity in your mind? Close your eyes and try to picture infinity, or, or, or he is. No, so you need an image. You need something to look on to. That's the point of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is that expression, that logos, that word. That's why the word, that word, that the, the word goes back to the word logos, meaning the expressed image of, to get a glimpse right. of Yahweh, you have to go Yahweh Shah, because he showed you how to stay in the spirit on the planet Earth perfectly. <laughs> you see that? That's All right, that's why he said, that's why That's why we're fervent about the teaching of the ministry of Yahweh Shah. It's another level, right? I'm on the new level. <laughs> Verse six, for Yahweh who commanded the light to shine out of darkness hath shined in our hearts. Oh, yeah. Who's that? Go ahead. To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Boom. That's the image. See that? Go ahead. But we have this treasure in it. That's why it talks about how his face shines. What is that representative of? The wisdom of Yahweh, man. He has complete understanding of the, the, the whole breakdown of what Yahweh Shah wanted, of what Yahweh wanted. Okay? But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be yeah, of Yahweh. You got, I want to make this point because you got idiots who read about Matthew when he was tempted. And who, who did Yahweh Shah call it on? Call on he called on Yahweh. What that's, what's that got to do with you? <laughs> what image do you seek after? You know what I mean? What was given to you? He told you about what name to, 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 to ask by. Do you believe it or you don't believe it? This is what it comes down to, with belief, right? And we have this treasure. That ain't that why Neo couldn't jump all across the field? Right, no faith. Because there was limitations to his faith. He had faith, yeah. he could jump, hide in a hole. But he was limited, because his faith wavered. Like Peter. Ooh, what did it take for him to realize his, his faith? It's a tribulation. See, same thing we're going through. Good. In order to arrive at your 
higher self, the glorified state, the immortal bodies that we all want, chariots, DBZ, you want to do all that shit? Well, you better start following your house, huh? You want all the superpowers you're talking about? You want them hoes that you was talking about, not the hoes. Glorious queens. All right? That good music you was going to play, you want to be able to do that? Well, you better start preaching and following your house, y'all. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power be, may be of Yahweh and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Yeah, what does that mean? You, you're perplexed, but not in despair. You don't know what's going to happen necessarily next, but you ain't tripping. Because why? Because you have faith. All right, go ahead. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Mm -hmm. Cast down, but not destroyed. But not destroyed, man. And that's how we are in this society. Why? Because the natural part of life is to increase in the world. We're telling you to decrease in this world. Because there's a better world yet to come in preparation for the better world yet to come. Right? So this world is going to be like, you crazy. Don't you see this shit? You don't want none of this? It feel good. You tripping. God don't want you to suffer like that. Not my God. And we said, no, nah, man. I'm telling you the truth. That's right, brother. That's right. I'm telling you the truth, man. Forget all that stuff, man. We got there's something way better. Okay? Always bearing about the body, the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shai, that the life, the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our body. 